He actually is. I need to take a time off. I took a break from the server. Hey, are you hosting or what? Dude, watch out for the people not rejoining. Guys, I really want to download the one-on-one -on -one map and play some one-on-ones. I want to test it out first, but I really would love to play some one-on-ones. Did he just start? Oh my god, he just started the game. Oh my god. You think people like this host can be a threat to me? What's the name of the one-on-one? Janjir Dulamont. I want to check that out. Let me, let me see this mod. So, uh, here's a little story about this. Yesterday, uh, something very weird happened. And what happened is that Feedback Gaming had an interesting stream, which uh, barely happens, right? <gasps> and he was playing, he was showing a 1v1 tournament. It was a 1v1 tournament. And this is the map. This is amazing. I think this is so cool. So this is it. This is a one-on-one -on -one map. It looks like two uh, Uteruses fighting each other. And you have a north, you have a middle, and you have a south. And you have what? And what you have is you start with nothing. You have to do, you have to do everything yourself. This is so cool. You have to do everything yourself. Uh, I don't really know what happened. You have a generic focus tree. You have 33 mils and 19 sifts. Ah, you can still build, I guess. I would really love to play this. Because this gives me feelings of 1v1. And then you have one year time and then you need to fight. And you have resources everywhere. So if your enemy takes over, he actually gets some... You don't have a lot of resources, okay? And then you just do what you want, man. You just go ahead. Does someone want to do a one-on-one? -on -one? I don't know how this map works, but I would love to do a one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, let me restart my game. Whoever joins first, let's go. Thank is Mimikus. So you have you have five minutes warm-up. Well, he's obviously going to stream snipe, that's for sure. Uh, that's a big issue, I guess, for me, that people will start to stream snipe. I don't really know what to do. So we're going to make uh, a build-up phase, and then we do a battle phase, I guess. Oh, you can't trade. So you already lose. Okay. Vendor? There's a... Oh, there's a vendor that sells you anything? There's a vendor that has all the resources in the world. Okay. Sauro, if you're ready, uh, I'm ready. Uh, should you go speed... Let's go speed 4 for the early game and then... Okay. But there's a vendor. Okay. Wait, I need to make the divisions. Uh huh. Is the research faster? Oh, mine is 40... Ah! Ah, you have 40%. Uh, ah, you research. This is so cool. So now you have one year or something? I think you have one year of build-up now. The, the game also declares on 1st of... Is it 1st of January 27 or what? 15 of January 27. Confirm? Ah, you're running out of steel. Oh, you don't have enough resources. Okay, that's cool. You have to actually take care of your resources. That's cool. I like that very much. Ah, he's doing tanks, obviously. They all do tanks. I saw that yesterday. They all just do tanks. That's what they do. Let's see, man. What? He has 200 divisions? Spamming tenders or something? Wait, the war's already starting. I'm totally not ready. Holy I'm not ready at all. The game's already starting in a sec, dude. He's far ahead of the tanks. Yeah, I'm, I'm already dead. This is how Perlin played success. yesterday. The war begins next month. I'm totally not ready, man. Okay, let's go speed free then. That seems fair. I know. This is how I felt when I saw the game is on, uh, on feedbacks uh, stream that wh whoever has the SPGs wins. If you have the SPGs, GG. Boom, yeah, Odi has four tanks. GG, I'm dead. Nah, no way. He just dropped a hundred. How broken is that, dude? Like, come on. He just dropped a hundred tent two whiffs. Yeah, but the problem is you dropped a hundred on the top and now you're losing all the in the bottom, dude. The four tanks are up slowly, dude.
Yeah, even though he has tanks, he just can't really put pressure on me. He has so many tanks, but what the f is he gonna do? He said was. I, I was thinking I'm gonna lose, but then he just totally f***ed up, man. He's he's literally just microing his four tanks. He's not microing anything else, dude. Bra bra bra. But this is fun, man. This is fun. I just hope it's not. What if I play against Purin here and Purin makes like just good micro ten roof spam with 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 light tanks? Can you defeat that? That's the big question I have. You don't even need to research that. That's that this was the first game I ever had, and I'm learning. You shouldn't even research that much. That you don't have time for this. You don't have time to research this. Wow, I have tech bomber once, but the game is already over. There's no time for this. But well, we're learning, we're learning. Like, you can't take... He took the industry guy. That's such a misplay, right? Because the game is so fast, you need to take your bonuses. Oh, they cost more the more you take them. That's cool. And the thing is, what if I make planes like tech bombers and my enemy is doing fighters to shoot them down? Or he does anti-air, right? What if your, your enemy puts one factory on anti-air? You don't... Do you start with anti-air? You do not... So you could rush this from the beginning, put anti-air one all your divisions, and any time an enemy does cast or bombs, you just kill them. Shout out to your No disrespect. Did you? You got me. Very interesting map though. That is that's fun. Uh, I learned a lot. You you can't obviously do 14 fours. That takes way too much. And I I see there could be scenarios where um, everything is just super. Uh, you can't do anything. And it goes into a late game, like a StarCraft 2 late game where you need heavy tanks. Cool map, really cool. I'm stressed and I like this. I, I miss the stress. Hey, GG, this is world, this is esports, man. GG, in, you say GG in esports. Very, very interesting. Very cool, man. Very, very interesting. Bigger map. I like that it's so small. I like the compactness. It's cool. Prune will beat me. Now, let's be honest. Prune, you will beat me because you know what you're doing. You just wrecked everyone in the tournament yesterday. I think it would be better with two years preparation. Yeah, the, true, true, very true role. Two years preparation to have more diversity. Because the game is so fast right now, the guy with the light tanks always wins, you know? Two year rep preparation would be maybe, didn't he, wasn't there a second option? But true, very true what Ralph said. If the developer would make two year preparation, you would have much more diversity. Oh, someone's rushing light tanks. I can rush anti-tank too. I can rush heavy tanks one, blah, blah, blah. But because the game is so fast, um, there's not much to do. I, that's why I think that what Purin is doing is the strongest tactic. Air tanks and 10 whiffs. Isn't there a second option this mod? One sec, I want to see something. Start in 1938 war. Wait, this one has two years. Low research limit. Battle with AI is recommended. He did this for AI battles. I would love if he does another version with two-year preparation. That would be really cool. Well, the one one map looks really cool, but I would Can love if the maker puts a version in where you have two years preparation. Because the, uh, the guy in chat just no, said no, it no, perfectly. No. Because you only have one year preparation, the builds are very limited. It's like, you can, uh, the an example would be, imagine you are playing a, a StarCraft 2 game there is a two-year mode. Imagine it with... Imagine you play StarCraft 2 101, but the game is only nine minutes. After nine minutes, the game just shuts down. That's... That's what it is, pretty much. You know, that's a perfect example. So, there is a two-year mode. The second mode, the 1938 mode, is a two-year mode. I I've got to let you know, though, the two-year mode... But the technology is more advanced, right? No, everything's... Well, yeah, I suppose it's two years ahead of time, I guess, compared to the 1936. I've got to say, though, having more time to prepare doesn't make the mod more interesting because the beauty of one year to prepare is because people have limited time and production, it makes them play more creatively and try out different things. If you gave players two players, we'd just see 40 with tanks left, right, and center. It'd be dull. The beauty of the one year is you see paratroopers, you see infantry builds, you see... Uh, air base builds you see lots of weird shenanigans and the one year is just just seems to be I and mean, we, i have tried a two-year mode by the way and it just seemed to make 40 was tanks every time it was just kind of boring i understand but it seems like in the one year mode for example if you like someone like purin that plays his build that there's a build that establishes itself in the one year mode that just beats every other build like um it's so fast that there there's no reason to ever research a heavy <laughs> tank you, you're right when it comes down to 
tank builds are strong, but you understand the longer the time window you make it for building up, the more likely you're making tanks more domineering. Tanks work, we already know they work, they work in the meta. 40 with tanks is the, the standard, but the problem is if you make for that was cool I, I just feel like she's up in my fingers like sand her that she had a man now I'm just sitting here sad oh well shit sail she's up in my fingers like sand her that she had a man now I'm just sitting here sad